Hi, I'm Marco, Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. And I'm Linda, Jiu Jitsu Brown Belt. Oh, sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> no, it's, it's too much! Let's okay, go, let's okay, go. Okay. Position yourselves. Hi, I'm Marco, Jiu Jitsu Black Belt. And Linda, Jiu Jitsu Brown Belt. And this is Speakeasy Jiu Jitsu. This is Coach's Log 18. Woo! I did the intro song already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ripley. This is Speakeasy Jiu Jitsu. Warning. Bad weather ahead. All systems go for a major and unusual storm. The National Weather Service said in its forecast on Wednesday, the powerful winter storm moving through California is expected to drop heaps of rain, sleet and snow across much of the state including Southern and California. And 1949, guess where this is? JPL, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, La Cunada area, so snow can happen. Uh, it is going to be beautiful, however, if you like that kind of weather, which I do. Uh, it's interesting, right? So as we take a look... ...called one of the worst winter storms in history. More than 55 million Americans are right now under weather warnings, and 38 people have died. Local authorities are warning that number will rise with hundreds of thousands of people freezing without power. So could you give some advice for somebody who's maybe getting a little up there in age how to continue with jiu-jitsu? Yes. Number one, slow everything down. Don't worry about winning. Worry about not getting hurt. And then what'll happen is you'll slow things down and at first your game will suffer. But then suddenly you'll open new growth pathways find a whole new love for the art. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. That was Chris Howder. He's been teaching here at the gym now for... I mean, well, he's been doing seminars with us for like, I don't know, two years. I got in touch with him a, a while back and started training a little bit at his gym and, and getting guidance from him. And, and it's been really awesome and I really appreciate that he took me on as a student and uh, answers a lot of my questions and, and shares his jiu-jitsu with us. But now he's here at my gym and he teaches a regular class um, every other Tuesday. And it's been fantastic. It's been a, an amazing experience to be able to share the mats with uh, someone with such a deep well of knowledge in jiu-jitsu. He outpaces the education of the population is another thing where you know you're fucked. <laughs> when no one understands how shit works anymore, we're in the TikTok era because no one oh, really knows how God. he did that shit. I'm going to record a, a dance with Chris later for TikTok dance. Send it to Melissa. <laughs> I think she'd really dig it. <laughs> and, you know, he's very humble too. He, he knows he knows a lot and he shares everything. He doesn't really hold anything back and he shares whatever he learns. I've never seen in a judo competition because you're not allowed to do it. And not common in MMA because you're throwing bombs and knees and all that stuff. So it's kind of something that is more applicable to street fighting with jackets. We're in here rolling. I try to throw. I feel that bump just coming right in nice and deep. Just making sure I stick on my opponent nice and deep. It's encouraging to see somebody that's been doing the sport so long to have that outlook just like me or my students and have that same enthusiasm. Um, it's uh, invigorating, right? Because we all hit slumps in our jiu-jitsu and then to see somebody that's been doing this, you know, 30 plus years and still have that same feeling of being happy and excited about new techniques or new ways to do things is just, uh, it's, it's encouraging to say the least. There, I break your posture. I need to get this back. You rise up pretty well, right? Put your hands right on my tits. Put your body forward. And my hips are getting in. Then try pot up, right? So now you see I can find jump backwards and get your posture. It is so cold in Pasadena right now. And now when I say cold, I mean like. Let's see. Let's see. It's 54 degrees right now. But in the mountains, which it which aren't that far away. It's like way colder. And if you look, I'll show you guys. It's actually snowing, which is crazy because it's supposed to come down to like nearly a thousand feet. I mean, you guys can see all like right here. That's snowfall. Right now it's Wednesday. It's about three o'clock and there's a storm coming. All right, we're at medieval times. It's our Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> that is amazing. How do I change that? 
excited. I got a dragon slayer. Party in Malibu? Somebody yes. has a pet falcon? Yes. I'm in San Diego right now for my cousin's wedding. I'm about to go pick up my cousin Jordan, who I hear is actually not feeling too well because we were out late last night. I'm maybe parting a little bit too much. Should be a really fun day today and just show you what it's like when I'm not at the gym. So apparently, um, Jordan's been throwing up. Oh, I think there he is. Hey. <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Is he alive? Oh, there he is. Dude, you didn't even drink that much. We drank when we got back. <laughs> you okay? No, oh my god. <laughs> take that. I'll take this. <laughs> you okay? Wait, I need the bag. <laughs> oh, don't throw up in my car, please. I have bags for you, too. Drink that water. <laughs> I'm making a video for Junior, but this is turning into a video of you. Really? <laughs> you gonna make it? No, we haven't even made it to the wedding yet. You got the bag for the vomit. <laughs> no, you're about to take off your pants. Yes. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> we made it. How are you feeling, Junior? Doing great. Feeling great. great? Feeling positive? Thank you very much. It's feeling good. Let's get this party started. Let's do one more shot. Let's go. The storm is here. They say we're supposed to get some sort of crazy amount of rain. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something. I feel like I hit another plateau in my jiu-jitsu. What is a plateau? A plateau is an area of your jiu-jitsu where you feel like you, you're not progressing. You're not necessarily like, getting any worse or regressing, but you're not improving. Or at least you feel like you're not improving. And uh, I hit this at white belt, blue belt, purple, brown, and now um, during my black belt, and I hit, an, I hit a plateau a while back with my black belt, but it wasn't very bad, and I kind of got through it, and it was like uh, only a couple days or maybe a week or something, and I was able to work through my, my, my problem, so it wasn't crazy. Now, this time, it seems to be lasting uh, several weeks, and it could be frustrating. It could be extremely frustrating because, you know, you think you're doing everything right, you hope you're doing everything right, and yet you're, you don't feel like you're progressing with your jiu -jitsu. So with this plateau, I've been thinking about it this way. I've been trying to look for holes in my game, and I've been trying to look for a way to expose my weaknesses, and one of the best things that I've been able to kind of do, or the idea is, like, if I just picture myself rolling with myself, like, who would win, and how would I win? So same skill set, same level, same weight, same everything, but what would I do to win? So if it was me versus me, the one that gets on top side control would probably be the winner. Because I know my game from top side control is, is strong. I know that if I wanted to win that match, I would have to force myself onto my back and I would start to force myself to play half guard on the left side. 
because I know that whenever somebody forces me to play half guard on my left side, they can usually get past, so I, I struggle to get to, or I have to get to close guard. But I know that if I can get myself there, I can pin myself, I can probably be able to get some sort of choke or arm bar. So with that being said, that's where I'm kind of getting frustrated right now, is, is looking for those holes and looking for the, the faults in my game. Now I'm working on half guard on my left side, to say the least, and, and it's been hard. Uh, you know, still getting through this. It, it's crazy too because everybody's getting better. Every single one of our members, every single one of our students. It's a humbling experience being the coach. You have your ass handed to you every day. And you know, it's not every day that I could be the best person on the mats. We have five other black belts at the gym that are amazing. And I tell my students that it's my goal to make them better than me. And they will be because they have the other black belts at the, at the gym giving them their best knowledge, their best techniques, their best lessons. And I can only give you as much as I know. And some of the other coaches are way better at certain techniques than I am. And we all have a really good understanding of the foundations. But that's the beautiful thing about jujitsu. Matt Parks, uh, my coach, says that it's teaching snakes to bite. And that's a pretty interesting thing. So don't be discouraged, stay on the mats, even if you have a plateau, and keep going. I'm very thankful to my instructors and my coaches for considering me to be a black belt. And I, I just, I, I need to mention this, I am Matt Parks' first student from white to black belt. I'm actually his second black belt. Um, and I'm truly honored and extremely thankful to Matt uh, for promoting me, for taking on the student very young and early age for trusting in me, believing in me, to teach his curriculum and the curriculum that his teacher gave him, and also believing in my curriculum as well and being a fantastic coach. Because uh, Coach has also been under Matt Parks for a very long time too as well. Uh, so thank you Matt. Uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>